Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic or question is, you know, are eggs high in cholesterol? And I'll quickly go over some myths and warnings as well. Now, most people are surprised and actually shocked that I regularly eat over half a dozen eggs daily and yet I have very healthy cholesterol levels, you know, averaging between 185 to 195 milligrams per deciliter. Now, one large egg has about 210 milligrams of cholesterol, almost all of it in the yolk. So with my average of, you know, six plus eggs daily, I'm taking in well over 1,200 milligrams of cholesterol daily just from the eggs. And yet my cholesterol, the HDL, LDL levels, triglycerides are all normal and I don't take any cholesterol medications either. Never have and I never will. And it's not because of my genetics since over 15 years ago, both my parents were diagnosed with high cholesterol. So how can this be? You know, how can I eat so many whole eggs every day and not have high cholesterol? Well, there are numerous factors, but for now, I'll just stick to the egg facts. Yes, eggs have a lot of cholesterol, yet they do not increase cholesterol levels. And if you consume the right type of egg, they can actually help increase your good HDL cholesterol levels. Now, the International Journal of Cardiology showed that in healthy adults, eating eggs every day did not produce a negative effect on cardiac risk, nor did it increase cholesterol levels. And Harvard Medical School has also arrived at the same conclusion, that the right type of eggs do not cause negative effects on your cholesterol levels. Now, the incorrect studies that have shown an increase in cholesterol levels were done in various forms that were all inaccurate. For example, one study was done by Kellogg's, right, the, the company that makes all the cereals, showing an increase in cholesterol. But when you look deeper into the study, you'll discover that the increase was in the good HDL cholesterol levels. Now, in another study was done using dried egg yolk powder, which is not even real and has totally different nutritional value than a regular egg. And finally, there's another study utilizing a complete breakfast and eggs, which included you know toast and butter, bacon and juice, which did raise cholesterol, but it was done, it was not done because of the eggs alone. So as stated, the right type of egg matters. And as with everything, the source is important. So if you want to enjoy eating eggs, you should really try to eat free range organic eggs because they have better nutritional profile and higher omega-3 fatty acids. Now there's another problem. Unfortunately, most people eat eggs incorrectly, which then makes them unhealthy. Now the best way to eat your eggs is raw because heating an egg will damage a structure of the protein which can lead to inflammation and allergies. And the risk of getting salmonella you know, from raw eggs or organic eggs is almost non-existent, so you really shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Now, if you want to heat your egg, soft-boiled egg is best, followed by sunny side up, just making sure that the yolk is still very, very runny. Now, the worst way to eat your egg is to fry or overcook the yolk such as you know scrambled eggs because the cholesterol in it becomes oxidized or rancid and oxidized cholesterol can increase your level of inflammation and lead to numerous other health problems so the bottom line is that even though eggs do increase cholesterol levels it's the good hdl cholesterol and many studies have shown that eating one or two eggs daily does not increase total cholesterol levels at all but the cholesterol in your foods isn't really the main cause of a heart attack or stroke you know, there are many other factors that are far more important, such as your hormone profile, lifestyle, and proper supplementation. Now, here's something else I want you to consider. So, I want you to pay attention to something really important in the big picture. Now, did you know that heart disease is the number one killer, killing more people each year than all the other diseases combined? So, improving your cholesterol levels is very important, but it's just one factor out of many when it comes to preventing and reversing heart disease. Now, you also need to improve your HDL, LDL ratios, your triglycerides, your homocysteine, and other lipid levels. Ultimately, your goal isn't even to lower cholesterol or to prevent heart disease, but it's to not have a heart attack or stroke. It's basically to not die prematurely. So, there is a big problem, something I've noticed over the years, and it's managing your lipid profiles is probably one of the most important aspects to health, longevity, and disease prevention. Unfortunately, it can sometimes get confusing, or you might feel overwhelmed with just too much information, right? What to do or not to do. Plus, you know, making dramatic lifestyle changes 
such as eating better or eliminating lots of the different foods and exercise daily. You know, it's all very important, but for many people, it can be difficult to start and takes just a longer time to see results. And taking statin prescription drugs is never a good solution because of all the negative side effects. Now, I'm very familiar with this topic because these are all the same challenges I ran into with both my parents all the way back in 1999. So because of this, you know, I wanted a solution for my parents that was safe, it worked quickly, and just was easy. So I created a simple and very effective and proven all-in-one solution called Coleslo, which is a small pill that helps to naturally lower your LDL bad cholesterol, also raise your HDL good cholesterol, It also helps lower triglycerides and homocysteine levels. And finally, it cleanses your liver. And this is where most cholesterol is produced. Now, one major reason cholesterol is just better than other options is because it's doctor formulated and clinically tested at work. And the feedback has been amazing. And since the product, you know, has been around for, you know, almost 15 years or longer, you know, it works and it's safe. Anyway, if you're looking for something that's natural for just total heart health, that's easy to take and works quickly, then take a look at the free video about how cholesterol works and how you'll benefit. You can also view the clinical studies, all the customer reviews, the frequently asked questions, and so forth. Now take a look and let me know what you think. Please do this now while it's fresh on your mind.